is your will, my master. Hey, what's up, Jeff? A uh, quick demo video for you for your Mara Jade Saber. This is the Hand of the Emperor Saber by uh, Shadowfoil Props and SP Sabers and Props. So Sean Patterson and Sam Stevenson. Um, these are just beginning to drop and I got yours actually uh, yesterday. I got mine the day before yesterday and uh, counted that as yours. And then when yours came in, I just kept it for myself. But <laughs> um, all done. This is installed the Proppy. Uh, it's a two button setup. You've got stock V3 MPXLs in here. Um, and then of course you got some blinkies for the control box and we'll go over that because there's a few different options on how to install this guy. And I will go over the ones that I chose and, and also why I chose them, right? But um, how to get to everything is you just wanna unscrew this handle here. Um, this, this saber unscrews in a total of three pieces. So you could take this handle off this middle section comes off and then you're also left with the emitter. Uh, this chassis is designed to be completely removable if necessary, but you don't have to necessarily remove it just to get to the battery. Now, if you want to get to um, your SD card and your micro USB, you can do that from right here. Um, you got to be careful with a pair of tweezers getting your SD card. If you'd rather not mess with a pair of tweezers, there's a way to take this out. But I had to go in and I had to modify the saber a little bit because it doesn't have anything for chassis retention. Um, so what I did was I came in and I took this control box all the way off. Um, and if you look under here, you can just barely see it. There's a little grub screw there. I drilled and tapped that for chassis retention and that's what's holding this guy in. So before you take this chassis out, you would need to unscrew these two guys, um, unscrew the control box, this, this box right here to get to that grub screw, loosen the grub screw, and then you can pull the chassis out. Uh, I know it's quite a bit, but I wanted to have a way to lock in that chassis and then not take away from the aesthetics of the saber, and that seemed like a perfect place to do it. It just takes a little bit to get to it. But hopefully, you don't have to do that for a while. Um, I got all your fonts on here. Um, everything's working. Uh, I just wanted you to know how to get to that. And then if you take this chassis out, you'll have your two NeoPixel accents for these guys right here in the in the chassis, you'll have your uh, activation and your auxiliary switches are in the chassis. And then of course, your NeoPixel holder, it's all part of the chassis. So when that comes out, this thing is completely empty. Right, um, now for the switches, there are these screws right here. One, two, that's your power and your auxiliary. Now the this kit came with two different options to do that you could use uh, what I used, which was the nut that holds these in here, or you could forego that and you and it came with some shorter ones, which I'll send in your kit. Um, and then you could use the magnets and the magnets are in here too. Uh, the magnets to me were not a good idea for this particular setup because um, in order to do that, the chassis had to be perfect, right? It, ha it had to be perfectly aligned. Um, and that's why I went in and I, I put in that chassis retention. Now with the chassis retention screw, if you want to use the magnets, that'd be fine. Um, but it was just easier for me to design it using that lock nut um, because when Sean sent me the CAD drawing for the Sabre initially, it had that nut in there on the drawing. So that's what I modeled around. Uh, the final version, what I have in my hand, is a little bit different from the CAD drawings. So the manufacturing ended up uh, being a little bit different. I had to go in and and make some adjustments here. Also move some things forward in my model for my switches and my NeoPixels. Um, but, uh, but you know, no big deal, we got it all done. Uh, the second part of the optional piece of this when installing it is you have these red and blue, if you can see that in the light, these red and blue inserts to go in here, or you could use what I opted to use, which was, it also came with two clear inserts. Um, so with the clear ones, you can obviously, you can make these NeoPixel accents, uh, uh, you know, whatever color you want. Uh, so I went with that uh, because you do have some different colors depending on the font that I'm on, on your, on your config. So they light up nice here with the clear lens. You can see each color with no problem. So that's what I did for installing. Uh, let's throw a battery in this guy. You get 28 millimeter Smuggler's Outpost Elite speaker. The Emperor 
owner's hand. Battery snaps in there nice and snug. We can throw the handle on. It locks down and then you can see what you've got your control box doing on this particular font until we turn it on. Your LEDs in there firing up. This thing's super loud. And I will say, when you have these two switches right here facing, whoops, <laughs> facing up, the switch on your left hand side is your activation. So we'll hit that. And the one obviously on the right hand side is your auxiliary. You also get shine through here. So you'll notice that's a smoky, like a smoky acrylic piece that doesn't look like it has shine through until you fire it up and it has nice shine through there. So we left that there. Left these here. We'll throw a blade in. This thing is super loud. Uh, it's got some very nice sound resonance. I did back the speaker all the way up to the end of the saber um, as much as I could though because I needed all that room for a battery and a speaker but it ended up working fine. Um, we'll throw a blade in. I forget if I said it already but this guy takes a 7 8 inch blade and then your, your blade retention screw is right above your see through eye here. So that guy right there. Solid as can be. Flash on class. Soundtrack for each, right? Throw another sound font. This is an N1 Starfighter. I'll show you that again on the control box. We'll turn it on. Nice still shine through on your on your eye. Very solid you whip this thing. And it has a bit of a pre-off. As you can see, it's retracting. They're pod racing on Malastar. Very fast, very dangerous. <laughs> the blade lock up right here. Hopefully that's picking up how loud this is. Just like that. And we'll go ahead and we'll take the blade out. Uh, as, as usual, you have quite a few sound fonts, so I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, one thing I do appreciate about you is that you will make up your entire font list and then you'll make up your config as well. So you just send that to me and I'll load it up. Um, we'll take the handle off right to get to the battery obviously we just unscrew it and you probably won't be able to get it out with your finger because it does sit pretty far down in the chassis I did that this time um, so it sits down pretty far in there I use something like the back of my tweezers right come over here and pop it out just like that and that's it uh, that's pretty much your Mara Jade hand of the Emperor uh, let me know if you got any questions, and if not, I will try to get this out in the mail to you today. 
All right. Thanks, man.